Hey, Harry. Yeah. Stand right. Great, man. Where's she at? Yeah. All right. What's your name, sir? Masani Mohammed. Masani Mohammed. All right, I got it, Mr. Sunny. So you have some additional warrants they didn't handle yesterday. So the warrants that they handled yesterday, we won't revisit those. But you have four other ones for the allegations that you went on different days to that particular church. So you have four additional, well, four additional charges. The bond is ten thousand dollars on each one of those charges. Wait, the next court date is on August the twenty eighth. You will receive notice in the mail when it comes back to court. Are you working anywhere right now? I don't have any source of money. Like, all right. So that information, I will appoint an attorney to um to represent you to assist you throughout this process. Give me one second. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to ask questions. So you have six new additional charges that they didn't handle. So your total bond on those charges is $60,000. It's 15% through a bonding company. That bond may be revisited at a later date. Your attorney may work something out with the district attorney's office before their preliminary hearing date. Now, what questions did you have for them? Uh, the look after that $60,000 was beautiful. To so please just like work something out, like. Right? It was all just an honest mistake. Like, please. I don't have so any honest mistake is not the allegations are that you broke windows and it was a bad choice. But, 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 but whether you I'm sorry, whether you did that or not. It was an honest mistake and or a bad choice, Judge. You're presumed innocent, but based on those allegations, I find that you're a danger to the community, which is why your bonds are set at that amount. For sorry. the purposes of today. I'm just saying, like, just please, like, I won't do anything. I don't have any. No, no, no. I'm not saying that you did anything. It's allegations. No, no, it's true. I did. Based on the allegations. I'm just okay, to so it, this is on YouTube, so you need to be careful. So they can use anything that you say against you. So you don't have to make any admissions or talk about the facts of your case. What I'm saying is today, that's what the bond amounts are going to be. That does not mean that they will change. I, have, I got you a lawyer. They're going to come see you this week. May be able to work something out um before the end of the week or when they come see you but there's nothing else that we're going to do about the bonds today all right okay all right take care sir you too okay and then i see let's call number three on our docket I Okay, I have to thank Alyssa for both of these. We've got we've got Karen here, and she's got, she's fixing to dominate this here hearing with her forehead and batitude. I think those folks are on Sarah Kalal and Jolene Fowler. All right, Ms. Fowler, can you hear the court? There you are. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And Ms. Kalal, can you hear the court? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So originally we had this on today for a continued readiness. Um, and I'll just say the first time around, I think Ms. Fowler hadn't filed her appellant brief, so we gave her some additional time. It looks like that was filed. Ms. Kalal, did you get a copy of that? No, I have received no paperwork. Okay. Ms. Fowler, did you copy Ms. Kalal on your brief? I still have no idea what's in controversy here. I really don't. But after after watching this hearing, I, I feel for Ms. Kalal. I do. She seems she seems very reasonable, and nobody should have to put up with this. I'm I'm not understanding what you're asking, Your Honor. Did I copy did you, her? Did you give it to her? She was sent a copy. How was she sent a copy? By mail. Okay. Well, I don't have that in my file with proof of service. So when well, she wasn't at this last hearing either. Yeah, the judge is all kinds of skeptical about this. <laughs> and rightfully so. So. Okay. That's not my question. My question is, when did you mail it to her? I believe that was mailed. Uh, a month ago. 
Okay. Ms. Kalal, you have not received it? No. Okay. Well, so here's where I'm at. Um, Ms. Fowler has filed her brief of appellant. So when we held the hearing back in May, I set June 7th as the date for her to file and serve on the other party the brief. Um, then, Ms. Kalal, your responsive brief was due July 8th. And then Ms. Fowler would be able to reply if she wanted to by July 22nd. It sounds to me as if, and I don't have proof of service in the file, so I can't say one way or the other, but Ms. Kalal is saying she didn't get the brief of appellant, so she has not filed her response. Well, Your Honor, I'm a little bit confused. Ms. Kalal wasn't even present. At the last it doesn't proceeding. matter. That is not my question. You did not file a proof of service showing that your brief was served on her by mail, in person, or otherwise. Nothing. I have nothing in the file to support that statement. Ms. Kalal is saying she didn't receive it. And frankly, more likely than not, I believe her because she would have filed a response had she received your brief. So what I'm going to do Rather, I could just dismiss your appeal because you don't have proof of service, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give you time to serve her your brief. Ms. Kalal, is there a way that that brief can be emailed to you so that we know you get it? Or do you want to come pick up a copy from the court? I'd prefer her not to have my email address. Okay, then how do you want to be served? I'm giving you I will, I, I will come pick it up. Okay. So, Ms. Kalal, you're going to come pick up the brief of appellant, and then I'm going to give you two weeks to get your response in. The brief is very short, so I would give you the 30 days that you originally had again. I don't think you're going to need it. It's very short. So, today's date is the 31st. If you pick up the brief from the court by Friday, August 2nd, I'm I'm picturing like a document that just says duh with some like drill stains on it. I would like you to file with the court and serve on Ms. Fowler your reply brief by August 16th. Does she have a location to serve her? Ms. Fowler, Ms. Fowler, how would you like to be served her response? Uh well, your honor, um I do have my address um confidentiality program. Um, however, they seem to have something going on uh, with Miss Kalal. Which is number one, wrong. Oh, how do you want to be served? I will go ahead and accept service at the original PMB. However, um, I would like to appeal this to a much higher court because in recent uh, days, I actually have video of the court. I might, I might have to clip. I might have to clip. I'd like to appeal this to a much higher court. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Here's here's the way appeals work. You, you usually have uh, one, maybe in rare circumstances, two choices. You just you, you don't get to like pick levels. <laughs> It's just the appropriate place for an appeal. Flirt following me around, which is very odd. Okay. Well, you can't do that quite yet. You got to do Let's go because back. in recent uh, days, I actually have video of the court clerk following me around, which is very which is number one wrong. You can't do that quite yet. You got to do something we call exhaust your administrative remedies. Okay, you have got well, to go. Your hold on, Miss Fowler. Oh, good lord! The, the the judge is spot on and absolutely correct. It, but she's she's saying this as if she's talking to a law student. <laughs> Forehead care and is not going to exhaust her her administrative remedies here. <laughs> she's just going to exhaust everybody. Sir, I will mute you. Hold on. You have you have appealed a district court decision. This superior court is the appellate court for district court. 
we need to decide this matter first, okay? The reason it initially drug out was because you didn't file an opening brief, okay? Which is number one, wrong. Time to Ms. Kalal at this point to file her response because I cannot find that you served her. She's going to come pick up the brief on August 2nd. She's going to file her response August 16. You are going to have one week to file any reply that you may want. So if you do not have to, but if you want to reply to her brief, you can file and serve that by Friday, August 23rd. Well, that, Your Honor, oh, no, nope, I'm not hard. done. No, nope, I'm not done yet, Ms. Fowler. And then we're going to come back for readiness on Wednesday, September 4th at 2 o'clock. My, assum my assumption is all briefs will be filed by that time. I will declare this case ready for a decision, and we will get it assigned to a judge for decision. That is the plan. Does anyone have questions about the date or the plan? Okay. I mean, I have several questions because this has just taken up entirely too much time. Well, Ms. And, Fowler, uh, you did not file a brief when you were supposed to. That's why it's taking so much time. Well, when there's special, um, you know, privileges for one person where uh, I didn't see Ms. Kalal show up at any of the other proceedings. Because you hadn't filed, Ms. Fowler, you did not file a brief. She doesn't have to appear if the appellant doesn't file a brief. You didn't file your brief like you were supposed to. If you we don't put here as a Fowler, we could nope, that's inaccurate. Ms. Fowler, we sent a briefing schedule. And at the bottom it said if you didn't file your brief, we could dismiss it. I could have dismissed it when you didn't file your brief, and I did not. Okay, I've given you those dates. I will put them in an order and file it with the clerk so there is no confusion. And we will see you back Wednesday, September 4th at 2 o'clock to decide if this case is ready for a decision. Thank you both. Thank you. Holy wow. That's messed up. Ah, well, that, I just had to do a quickie on that one. I thought that was too fun. It's always a good indicator when you see forehead only. I, I don't know. I don't know the psychology behind it, but I think I think it... I think it implies the consciousness that they're full of it, that they don't want to show their face. I've, I've been doing these videos for a while now, and that that is that is high, highly correlated with with uh, incoming nonsense. If if you see forehead only, I I think it all. Yeah, you, you know, I I don't know anything about it, but I think it all tracks. Like if you're walking around or you're not in frame, or it's dark, like if you basically won't show yourself, if you're obscuring yourself in some way, that to me is, is the first indicator that you know that you have no confidence in what you're about to say. There you go. Psychological musings from Law Talk with Mike, meaning nothing. Thank you all for coming on. I appreciate it.